Rahul Gandhi is currently on his Bharat Jodo Nyai Yatra and now faces a big challenge of Nyai for Beti message that's gone across to him. Ankita Datta, who was with the Congress and was expelled after she accused B.V. Srinivas, the Youth Congress Chief of Harassment, is now sitting on a dharna along the route of Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Nyai Yatra, sending across a message that Rahul Gandhi cannot ignore her. She's holding a peaceful protest at Amguri uh, and is seeking justice from Rahul Gandhi for the alleged harassment by B.V. Srinivas. Uh, Ankita Datta says it's been 10 months that she's not joined any party and she's still waiting for justice. Uh, she was in fact expelled from the Congress and she says it's because she complained against B.V. Srinivas uh, when she had uh, in fact alleged that he had made lewd advances towards her. So while she accused him of harassment, she was expelled from the party and is now sitting on a dharna. Rithik Montel is joining us with more details on this. Rithik, uh, this was in fact a news break that we reported on a couple of months ago, which was followed by the Congress actually expelling uh, Ankita Datta. Now we understand she's sitting on a dharna along the Bharat Joro Nyai Yatra route. So it looks like in all likelihood Rahul Gandhi will come face to face with this woman who's alleged harassment by a Congress leader. Right, we'll reconnect with Rithik in just a bit. But on the right of your screens are the images from Assam, from Amguri, where you've got, in fact, uh, Ankita Datta, a former Congress leader, seated on a dharna. A few months ago, she had gone public with her allegations against Indian uh, Youth Congress chief B.V. Srinivas, accusing him of making lewd advances, accusing him of not giving opportunities because she shot him down. And now uh, she is sitting on a dharna seeking justice from Rahul Gandhi. She is someone, in fact, who uh, uh, did get expelled after leveling these allegations. But it was said by the Congress that her allegations were completely baseless. Now, however, if uh, the Yatra goes on as planned, Rahul Gandhi will have to, in fact, address the concerns raised by Ankita Datta. Now remember, Ankita Datta had gone public on social media to accuse B.V. Srinivas of harassment. And now she's sitting on this dharna saying that this is a challenge for Rahul Gandhi uh, to address as far as uh, uh, women uh, issues are concerned and addressing harassment allegations against one of his aides, against B.V. Srinivas, the Youth Congress chief. Rithik Mondal is with us for more details. Rithik, uh, in Amguri of Assam, where the Yatra will be passing by, you've got, in fact, uh, a former Congress leader sitting on this dharna alleging harassment by B.V. Srinivas. So it looks like, in all likelihood, Rahul Gandhi will have to address this issue or change his route. Well, exactly. It's a bit of an embarrassment for the Congress party and, of course, Rahul Gandhi at a time when uh, no, Rahul Gandhi, you can see, uh, he is conducting and passing through this Amguri, um, which is the bordering uh, uh, district uh, of Chief Jagger, uh, just adjacent to Nagaland and Assam. Uh, uh, what we are given to understand that uh, Amrita Datta, uh, she is the former, you know, uh, uh, Youth Congress leader of Assam. It, she has been expelled since last 10 months. And remember yesterday, she and her followers met Rahul Gandhi uh, uh, you know, there is, uh, there is a call from her uh, to withdraw her expel uh, from the party. And I remember 10 months back, uh, she was being expelled uh, for her anti-party activities. And uh, remember, she was also alleged of, uh, uh, she lost a complaint of harassment against the party's senior leader. So uh, it's been of an uh, embarrassment for the party, but we're given to understand while we try to reach out to uh, the youth congress, the former youth Congress leader uh, that has told us that he uh, demands nyai as at a time Rahul Gandhi is conducting this you know Bharat Yoro Nyai Yatra as you can see behind me uh, Rahul Gandhi's bus is uh, now moving towards uh, the you know Assam's Jorhat uh, area today is the fifth day of Rahul Gandhi's Yatra when he will be addressing two separate meetings and of course uh, two se in between two separate road shows in and around Jorhat, uh, he started his seven, 
uh, Assam leg of uh, you know uh, Bharat Euro Yatra today. Today is the fifth day, and he will be crossing uh, uh, across 17 districts across Assam for next so eight days. And uh, uh, Angita uh, Angika Dattas comment, and she is currently staging a peaceful protest at this you know, Amguri area where uh, Rahul Gandhi's travel uh, head we can see is crossing at this point in time. It comes as a bit of embarrassment, surely, for the Congress party. Back to you. Okay, uh, and we'll see, of course, whether Rahul Gandhi chooses to address this issue or not. But can you also at this point, Rithi, give us details of the circumstances in which Ankita Datta was actually expelled from the party? Was there a formal investigation by the Congress then into the allegations she'd leveled? Well, exactly what, what we are given to understand is Angika that 10 months back she was the youth president of the party over here in Assam and she uh, leveled a serious charges okay. to the party. Uh, Rithik, I'm going to come back to you. Uh, Nalan Kohli of the BJP is joining us on this broadcast. Mr. Kohli, you've got an expelled Congress leader, Ankita Datta, who accused uh, the Youth Congress chief of harassment sitting on a dharna now demanding answers from Rahul Gandhi. Your reaction to this? She was his party colleague. The party expelled him, her, because she leveled sexual harassment uh, arguments against another Congress leader. Of course, the matter went before the court, there's an FIR filed, etc. Court granted him protection, but the investigation is not closed. So beyond the criminal investigation and the truth, the question that will arise, and which Mr. Rahul Gandhi would need to answer is if he's talking about Nyai and justice, and if someone who was a colleague of his in the party feels that she was denied it, then what is his stand on it? Second, can he take a stand that I will stand for nyai for others, but not people within my party if someone else has done wrong against that person? So this is a very strange approach of justice. Justice has to be for all. It cannot be for who I like to do justice for, who I want to project that I want to do justice for. Therefore, it brings back the core question. Is the word Nyaya Yatra merely a marketing or a branding exercise and not actually meaning anything in substance? Because only when the Congress party would be above board in terms of allegations that it faces internally, then only could they say that we will go out and work for others. So this is a big question. But and is this, uh, Mr. Mr. Rahul Gandhi would need to answer. Is this, is this a problem cutting across party lines of uh, harassment of women not being given opportunities, of women's issues also constantly being ignored? Well, the first thing to be noted is that if someone made an allegation, the allegation may be correct, the allegation may be incorrect. But would you take action against the person of the allegation without conducting, say, the internal co committee? We know after the Vishaka judgment and the guidelines, there is a, supposed to be a sexual harassment committee in any organization. The Congress is an organization. So what they have to answer is that did they follow that process before they uh, held anything against her or did they unilaterally expel her for whatever be the reasons? So if you don't follow the guidelines yourself, you don't follow the process that a court judgment has prescribed, then certainly the questions are going to be asked of you that did you do it at the cover-up? Okay. All right, Mr. Nalan Kohli, thank you very much for joining us here on India Today. So the BJP putting the onus on Rahul Gandhi essentially to act in this particular case. Taking this back across to Rithik Mondal for more details. Rithik, my apologies for cutting you off earlier, but you were giving us details essentially of what led to uh, Ankita Datta's expulsion. Was there a formal investigation into the allegations she'd leveled? <laughs> Well, exactly. Ankita Dutta expelled Congress, the Youth Congress leader. She lodged a complaint against uh, uh, Shinavas BP, who is the senior party uh, leader of uh, senior leader of the party, of course, uh, with the charges of uh, harassment and manhandling. And soon after that, uh, you know, war of words uh, and fractional fights began. So what the sources inside the uh, Congress party were told uh, that time that we could remember that uh, soon after that, uh, uh, you know, two two MS. Uh, 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 you know, uh, broke out and uh, there was, uh, you know, uh, a 
counter allegations against the party leader Ankit Khan that the, that the party expelled her with the charges of anti-party activities. And currently, she yesterday met uh, the party leader Rahul Gandhi, who is on uh, his Bharat Euro Yatra uh, 2.0 and covering across the states of Assam. Uh, he entered across the Nagaland and Assam border this morning, and he is currently, uh, you know, uh, carrying uh, out this uh, this uh, rally. At this road show, his buses, uh, buses uh, are crossing uh, the Amguri area where at this point in time, uh, Datta is staging a peaceful protest uh, with uh, her followers and demanding uh, justice, Nyai. She met uh, it clear that she demands Nyai at a time that Rahul Gandhi is carrying out a Nyai Bharat Yoro Nyai Yatra. She feels that she, uh, the reason behind her, she expelled from the party, it should be revealed walked and of course strict action will be taken against uh, Sri okay. Nas B, uh, 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 BV and of course she claims that uh, at a time when uh, the alleged party leader he is also uh, you know uh, uh, continuing mm -hmm. with his post but as per the party uh, uh, you know uh, laws are goes that there are rules that he can't continue when she, uh, he has been leveled against with serious charges by uh, his own party uh, woman leader who she helps from Assam, so it comes as a, a bit of you know embarrassment, surely for the party. We are yet to get our party Congress uh, Congress senior leaders' reaction with the, uh, over this slugfest that broke this morning, this chilly morning, uh, in uh, Assam's uh, Jorhat, which, which comes under Chief Chago district at a time. And uh, Rahul Gandhi, he, as per his itinerary, is today's itinerary is concerned, he will be hovering and conducting several public meetings and rallies and road shows. Across Jorhat, in and around Jorhat, till this uh, uh, evening. Let's see what happens. Whether party and when Rahul Gandhi himself is over here, he's uh, he's conducting rally and his uh, Bharat Yuru Yatra. Whether he react to uh, how his party leaders' uh, agitations or the uh, you know uh, the way she is carrying out this agitation. Whether party senior leader, uh, leaders react right. to this or Let's not. Let's see. In fact, how this plays out. Thanks very much, Rotek, for joining us with those details.